A European and Japanese space mission is setting off to study Mercury, one of the most mysterious planets in our solar system. Well, the Bepi Colombo spacecraft will blast off on board an Ariane 5 rocket from French Guyana in the early hours of Saturday morning, beginning a seven-year journey to the closest planet to the sun. Our space correspondent, Jeremy Wilkes, is with me now to explain more. Jeremy, seven years? Seven Why years. Why did it take so long? I know, seven years. You think no but in fact mercury isn't that far away either it's about 77 million kilometers which in space terms isn't that far away when it's closest to earth the problem is uh, that you need an awful lot of fuel if you want to go di there directly and they want to have an awful lot of science instruments on board so they go the most economical route possible they go seven billion kilometers they go around venus they go around the earth they go um, six times around Mercury before they can break into position. The reason is that you basically need to slow down, watch out for the sun, which of course has a huge amount of gravity. So you can kind of fall into the sun. I'm simplifying here, but really that, that's, the, that's the complication that they face. I had a, had a little chat with Johannes Benkoff from the European Space Agency. Let's have a listen. One special thing about Mercury that it is a very fast rotating planet around the sun. And so on one hand we are breaking against sun's gravity, but on the other hand we have to speed up our spacecraft that we fly together with Mercury. And when we are there then we can put our two orbiters in the dedicated orbits to do their best uh, for, for science. So what's Bepi Colombo going to do when it actually gets there then? So it's going to study Mercury in detail, unprecedented detail. They've got 16 instruments on board which no um, spacecraft mission to Mercury has ever had before. In fact, the previous mission to Mercury, NASA's Messenger, found out that Mercury is pretty weird. I'll give you some examples of why. Um, it is shrinking. Uh, the whole planet has uh, gone down by about seven kilometres in radius over the lifetime of the planet. Nobody really knows why. There's water ice on its poles, despite it having daytime temperatures of 450 degrees. Nobody really quite understands about that either. It seems to have a massive iron core, but no real traces of iron on the surface. Again, something we don't particularly understand. There are an awful lot of mysteries. It doesn't really fit into our models or understandings of the solar system. Again, I had a little chat with uh, Jörn Helbert from the German Aerospace Center. Let's have a listen. The really big thing of Bepi Colombo is that we finally get a complete picture of Mercury. Uh, so with the messenger mission we've seen the northern hemisphere in parts really, really well. We've seen the southern hemisphere extremely bad uh, because we've been far away. And for planetary scientists that's really driving you crazy because you have seen that one part and you don't know if the rest is the same or if there is something completely different. Well, if it takes seven years to get there, how long is it going to take before we actually get any information yes, back? Yes, I mean, I was talking to Jörn about this. They're incredibly patient people, these planetary scientists. They have to wait years. I mean, this uh, mission started in 1993. They started planning it. It's 2025 before they start getting data. Um, and then, I guess, 2027 20, before they really get results from it. Oh.